What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to review what I sold on eBay over the last couple of months. The last video that I did was actually um, in early March and I went through what sold through February 29th. So today's video, I'll go through everything that sold from that point up until yesterday. All right, so this first item here is a vintage Mary Kay perfume atomizer. I bought this in an auction lot of estate items. Um, the item breakdown for this, I paid about a dollar for this item. It sold February 29th and it sold for $8 plus shipping. It was listed in January and it sold in a month. This next item is a vintage um, can of men's talcum powder. It was also purchased through an auction lot of estate items. The um, breakdown cost of it was about $3.41. It sold on March 1st for $9.25 plus shipping. I listed it in February, so it sold in less than a month. And I was amazed. I didn't know how well this can would sell. Um, I know that vintage items do sell, especially old cans. It still had talcum powder in it, but the can was very rusty. So I was pleasantly surprised that somebody bought it that quickly. So this next item, WWE Wrestling um, Birthday Party Invitations. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've talked about how um, I bought several um, invitations and party supplies from a local thrift store. I think a Hallmark shop went out of business a while back. And so I had bought a bunch of invitations and party supplies through them. So I packaged these party supplies, these invitations up. Um, typically the invitations are about one eight count package. So I'll package them up in two eight counts to make a six, 16 count um, package of um, party invitations. So um, these were two eight count packages. I bought them for about 15 cents per package it was my investment. They sold for $12.95 and I did have free shipping on this item. They were listed back in November. Um, took about four months for these to sell. But like I said, I have like a bunch of different invitations and they were super easy to list. And now I just have them all um, taking up like space in just one box and um, then I set them aside and when they sell, you know, that's fantastic. Really easy item that I was able to list. Um, so this next item is a Gap Women's Sleeveless Blouse. This blouse was purchased at my local thrift store. I have a thrift store that does a quarterly quarter sell in their clothing on their racks or a quarter. So I bought this for a quarter I listed it in December. It took about three months to sell. I did have free shipping on this item. It sold March 1st for $11. So this next item is a Sand Pacific International Bronze Humpback Whale Statue. This was a beautiful little statue I bought in an auction lot of other estate auction items. The breakdown for this item was about $3 that I spent on it. Um, it sold March 1st. Um, and I believe it sold the same day that I actually listed it. It sold really, really fast. It sold for $39.95 plus shipping. This next item um, was a nickel finished dummy door levers. Um, there were four in this lot. It was also purchased in an auction lot of estate items. Um, I bought this whole lot of knickknack um, hardware items and I only spent like about five bucks for the whole box of items and I've slowly been selling off different things from that same lot. So the breakdown on this for the four was about 60 cents, so about 15 cents per lever. So the they were listed in December. They sold in less than three months, in three months, in three months, um, sold on March 1st, and the customer paid about $7 a piece plus shipping, so he paid a total of $28 plus shipping for a 60 cent investment, so pretty good. So this next item I thought was really cool. It took me a while to figure out what it was. I had no idea what it was. Um, it is a Viking glass blue pot belly stove. And I also had the key phrase vintage fairy lamp. It actually, I believe, holds candles on the inside. 
It was also purchased in an auction lot of estate items. I've been buying glassware, as you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos. Suddenly I'm liking some glassware, very unique glassware anyway. Um, the breakdown on this was about $2.69 for this item in that lot. It sold within a day and I had it listed and it sold full price for $40 plus shipping. So this next item is a vintage car carved wood painted trout and it was on a wood stand. This trout had some damage to it. One of the eyeballs was probably um, like it was broken off. So it was like half an eyeball. So I listed all the problems with this item. This was in the same lot as the humpback whale statue. Um, so the breakdown of this was about three bucks in this lot of estate items. I listed it in March and it sold within the same month. It sold on March 3rd for $12.95 plus shipping. This next item is a pair of Levi's women's mid-rise skinny jeans. They were aqua colored. They were um, size women's 18. Um, they were brand new. They were a retail arbitrage item and I bought them at TJ Maxx and I bought them on clearance for $4. I bought a couple of pairs of them. So I think I still have one more pair that's actually listed. These took a while to sell. Um, it was when I was first getting started early last year and I bought some items I probably shouldn't have. I bought way too many clothes. I talk about that a lot now that I don't like to list clothes anymore. I have a death pile of clothes that I'm slowly chipping away at and trying to get rid of because it's just not my favorite thing to list. So these sold on March 3rd for $23.35 plus shipping. Like I said, I paid $4 for them. It did take a whole year to sell. They've been listed for a year and I do have another pair of them. So this next item is a vintage Scotty Dog blue milk glass jar with a lid. It um, was purchased with an auction lot of estate items also. The breakdown of, of what I paid for it is about $2.69. This item was listed in March. It sold in the same month for $29.95 plus shipping. So this next item is a Calvin Klein sleeveless black and red career top. This was also a retail arbitrage item. I paid $6 for it at TJ Maxx, new with tags. Um, I did sell, I bought a couple of these and another one sold pretty quickly last year, but this did take a year to sell this one. Um, it sold for $13 plus shipping. Would I do it again? I don't know. It depends on the brand. It depends on what the style is. Like I said, I had a couple of these and one sold really fast and I got excited about it. But this other one I've been sitting on for a while. So this next item is a April 24th, 1972 Sports Illustrated magazine. Um, in December, I bought a lot of Sports Illustrated magazines from my... Um, from my auction house from an estate and it was over a hundred magazines. So the breakdown on these magazines is about 16 cents a piece that I have invested. Um, so it's, you know, I've only sold a couple of magazines. I'm just, you know, the, those were one of the things that I just listed and then I just put it aside. Um, it, they were pretty easy to list. They weren't too terrible. I think it took me a couple of days to list them. It was just kind of boring because I was doing the same thing over and over again. So this magazine sold on March 7th, listed in December. So this one took about four months to sell. Um, all of these magazines, I do have um, address labels on them. So um, I feel more comfortable covering up the address. So I put like a little tiny sticky note on the address when I list it. Um, you know, they're old magazines, but I just feel more comfortable doing that when I'm listing things on eBay. So this item sold for $7 plus shipping with a 16 cent investment. So this next item is the Amanda Show um, season three on DVD. I found it at my local thrift store. Um, when I, when they have like half price sell on their media, I will tend to go through it and look for the ones that are still new in the packaging. And then I, um, scan them to see if I think that, 
you know, I can make something off of them. So this particular DVD I bought at the thrift store for 75 cents. It was half off. They're normally $1.50 a piece. I listed it in December. It did take three months to sell. I had best offer on here and several people tried to lowball me pretty early. Um, but finally someone bought it on March 8th and it was when I was running a 10% off sale in my eBay store. So they got it 10% off. They paid $14.35 plus shipping on this item. This next item is a Vaseline glass pocket revolver. I had two of them listed. The same customer went back and bought the second one right after that when they realized I had two of the same item. Um, these were both listed in March and they sold within the same month, probably within a week or two. They sold really quick. This was also um, bought from an estate lot, um, from an auction lot of estate items. These were in two different lots. So um, the total cost for two of these, I spent $14.50 was the breakdown total for two of them. The customer paid $79.90 plus shipping for both of them together. Um, they were listed for $39.95 a piece. Probably one of the coolest Vaseline glass things that I have actually had. Um, really neat item. Those and the tomahawks. So this next item is an Angel of Happiness figurine from the year 2000. It was bought also from auction lot of estate items. The breakdown for this item was about $2.69. It sold um, March 10th. I don't have, I, I believe I listed it in March. So it sold within a week or two. This one sold really quick. Um, and the customer paid, they got, um, they did the 10% off sale in my eBay store during that time. And they paid $12.55 plus shipping. So this next item, this was four Nuke Orthodontic Baby Pacifiers. Um, they had a football theme on them. They were two two-packs. These took a long time to sell. I listed them in March of last year, and it took until March 10th of this year for these to sell. This was a clearance item that I bought at Walmart, brand new. I spent $2.50 per package on them. It was probably not the best purchase that I made. I made some bad purchases and I will always talk about the bad with the good. Um, so these sold for $11.25 with free shipping and this customer bought them through the 10% off sale in my eBay store. And the total um, amount that I actually made on these, I did the breakdown, I made $1.33. So I made my money back and then I made $1.33 extra. So. Um, it only took a year <laughs> to get that money back, so, um, but they were small and they were just thrown in a box, so, um, this next item is a Vaseline glass tomahawk, really cool tomahawk. This one actually had, um, the top of it was broken off, so I listed it cheaper than, than the gl Vaseline glass tomahawks were going for about $90 a piece, and since this one had a, um, a, the thing, the knob on the top of the axe was broken off. I listed it cheaper. I listed it for $34.95 plus shipping. Um, it was listed in March and it sold the same month. It was also purchased in an auction lot of estate items. Uh, the breakdown of it was about $7 I spent on it. Um, but normally, like I said, these axes sell for about $90. So that customer is probably really happy but I didn't want to list it too high considering it was not complete. So this next item is another Vaseline glass. It's a Pennsylvania Rubber Company Uranium Glass Ashtray. Um, it was listed in March. I think I had like three of them because I just recently sold the other two, which I'll get to later. Um, listed in March, sold the same month. Um, it was purchased with an auction lot of estate items. This item breakdown was about $7.70, and this ashtray sold for $35 plus shipping. This next item is a um, vintage yearbook. It was 1947 Le Mirage yearbook from West Texas State University. I bought it in an auction lot of yearbooks. I think there were like three of them. So the breakdown I spent on this yearbook was $5.00. 
It was listed in February. It took a month to sell. It sold on March 14th for $53.95 plus shipping. And the customer bought it through my 10% off sale in my eBay store. So this next item is a Cleveland Cavaliers 47 brand NBA strap back cap. It sold March 14th. It was listed in February, so it took a month to sell. I found it at my local thrift store. I paid a dollar for it, and I sold it for $13, and this one did have free shipping on it. So this next item is an O'Neill Extra Large Women's Pink and Gray Wetsuit Top. It was purchased at my local thrift store, the one that does the quarter sales. So I purchased it for a quarter. <clears throat> it was listed in December. It took three months to sell and it, it sold on March 14th for $15.25 and it did have free shipping on it. And the customer purchased it through my 10 per and the customer purchased it through my 10% off um, sale through my eBay store. I ran a sale when all of this crazy stuff started happening to start moving merchandise in my store because my store um, has a lot of vintage items and um, just items that are not everyday items. So it takes longer for me to sell a lot of the items that I list in my store. So this next item was a Sony remote control. Um, I believe it was probably a DVD um, combo control. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But I listed it in March of last year. I bought several remotes. Remotes are easy to list though. Um, this I only paid 29 cents at my thrift store and it sold on March 18th. So it took a year to sell um, and the customer paid $12 plus shipping. But remote controls are easy to list and they don't take up any room. So if you can get them cheap, it's definitely worth it. So this next item was a brand new sealed Albuquerque Balloon Festival jigsaw puzzle. It was a thousand piece puzzle. Found it at my local thrift store, paid $2 for it. I listed it back in December. It took three months to sell. It sold March 21st um, for $11.87 and I did have free shipping on it. So I didn't make a whole lot of money on this item um, because it did sell with... Um, a 30% off promotion that I was doing through my eBay store. So my eBay store, I was doing anywhere between, I think, 10 to 30% off the items, depending on how long they had been listed. I was trying different um, sales during that time. So this next item is a 1968 vintage American Tack Light double switch plate. It was purchased in an auction lot of items. Um, I think it was the same lot that I paid like, five bucks for with the door handles and stuff. Um, so this item breakdown was about 15 to 17 cents on this item that I had invested. Um, I listed it in December. It took three months to sell. It sold on March 21st for 907 plus shipping. And again, this was a, um, a, a sale item. The customer got it for 30% off. This next item is a white swan scrub top size extra large. This one was listed for a year. Um, I bought it because it was at my thrift store for a quarter. So I picked it up, listed it, stuck it in a box and forgot about it. Um, scrub tops sell pretty decently, but I think it all depends on the pattern. So this pattern was, was not anything big that stood out. So it did take a while to sell. But like I said, I had a quarter invested in it. Um, the customer bought it through my 30% off sale, so they got the scrub top for $6.27 plus shipping, so they got a good deal, and I still made a little bit of money on it, and I only had a quarter invested in it. So, this next item is a Dr. Scholl's Women's Advanced Comfort Gel Cushion Shoes. They were size 8.5 wide. Bought them at my local thrift store, and I paid $2.71. My thrift store... Um, and I have several thrift stores. This particular thrift store um, does buy one, get one free on certain items. And so I bought these shoes, buy one, get one free. Um, so my investment in them was less than $3 for these shoes. They looked brand new. Um, when I did some research on them, I think these might be the kind that Walmart sells. So they weren't super high-end shoes, but they were in really great condition. And... For less than $3 investment, 
um, I made a few bucks off of them. So I sold them for $11.95 plus shipping. Listed in February, sold March 23rd, took about a month to sell. So this next item, 1969 Redline Hot Wheels Peeping Bomb Magenta Car. This was in a lot of toys that I bought um, through my auction house. The whole lot of the toys were $6. Um, it was listed in March and it sold March 23rd. So it, it sold within like two or three weeks. It sold super quick. I sold this car for $18.95 plus shipping. And you can see like some of my pictures changed throughout the time. I loved my black acrylic um, um, tabletop thing that I had to take pictures, but acrylic scratches really easily. So I had to quit using it and then I didn't have a whiteboard for a while. And so I just threw down a towel. <laughs> so it is what it is. All right. So this next item is vintage Chinese symbol pendants. These were kind of cool. Um, these were also purchased through an auction lot of estate items. The breakdown for this this item right here was about $2.38. I listed them in January. They took about two months to sell. They sold March 30th for $29.95 plus shipping. Now, this item was a little bit frustrating because you have certain items that you put on your eBay store and immediately you start getting offers. And when I have the offers turned on, I immediately get those less than half price low ball offers and when I had offers I, I currently don't have offers turned on right now because I've just taken a break from that because I keep doing like sales in my store so I turn the offers off for right now um, but this particular item I kept getting low ball offers and I finally got frustrated and I shut off the offers on this item so this item actually ended up selling for full price at $29.95 plus shipping so this next item is um, a pair of nurse mates slip on um, nurses shoes. They were size 10 wide. They were purchased at my local thrift store through the buy one get one free sale that my thrift store had. So I only had about $3 invested in these shoes. They sold for $39 plus shipping. And the thing that's remarkable about that. I did have them listed a little bit cheaper because they were missing their insoles and, and I noted it in the listing and they still sold. So this next item is a Banana Republic size medium blue and white striped. It had a short puffy sleeves on it. It was listed in February of last year. I bought it at my local thrift store for a quarter. Um, again, this is when I was starting out and so I was buying brands that are kind of hard to sell sometimes depending on the pattern. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. I don't waste my time on too many clothing items anymore. And it took 14 months to sell. So listed in February of last year, took until April of this year to sell. Only had a quarter invested in it. And the customer paid $6.95 plus shipping on this shirt. So this next item, was a brand new in the box 2018 Star Wars Advent calendar that I bought. Um, it was a retail arbitrage item that I bought at Walmart um, after Christmas of 2018. So I waited until early December to, of this past year to list the item thinking that someone was going to want to buy it. I paid up way too much for it. Again, this is when I first started. I paid a lot of money for things I shouldn't have. Live and learn. Um, so this item I paid $17 for at Walmart on clearance a year, almost a year and a half ago. And um, the customer bought it. I had a 30% off promotion. And so this fell under that. And so the customer paid $15.37 plus shipping, bought it April 3rd. Um, I did not lose money on it, but I probably made $3 on a $17 investment. So I got my $17 back plus $3. So this next item, um, another bad purchase, and I'm embarrassed to say that one was more recent. So this item was a Starbucks bright pink iridescent tumbler. I was reading the comments of other resellers who were talking about 
the Starbucks tumblers flying off the shelves. Um, I think it was around Halloween of last year. And everybody got excited and some of us purchased tumblers um, during Christmas thinking that they would sell the same. I never was part of the Halloween thing that went on where um, resellers made money, but I guess Starbucks learned from their mistakes and it was more unique pattern in for the Halloween cups. Um, and I paid like 20 bucks a piece for these tumblers. And so now I'm just sitting on them getting rid of them. And so they've been through a couple of my eBay store sales. Um, and so I've had some customers purchase them under the sales when my stuff's on st on sale in my store. So this particular tumble tumbler was purchased for with a 30% off promotion. And the customer purchased it for $17.47 plus shipping. I lost about $7 on this particular one. So bad buy. <laughs> so this next item is another Starbucks tumbler. It's the silver version. And it was also purchased under the 30% off promotion. And the customer purchased four of these. And so they spent $69.88 plus shipping. So after fees and shipping, I lost $1.38. So I'm thankful I got most of my money back. So this next item is a hardback book. It's called Mad River by John Sanford. It was purchased in an auction lot of estate books that I bought. Um, I think it was like a whole box of books that I probably bought for five or seven dollars. So the breakdown um, investment I had in this book was about 40 cents. The customer did buy it when my items were on sale, so they got it at 30% off, so they only paid two dollars and seven cents plus shipping. So after fees and shipping, I made my 40 cents back plus a dollar 54, so I made almost two dollars on this two dollar book. So this next item was a vintage fit and glass, um, fit and blue glass pedestal ruffled edge server, really pretty server. It um, was purchased in an auction lot of estate items. Also paid um, about $6.78 breakdown for this item listed in January, it took three months to sell. And I sold it on April 5th for $25.17 plus shipping. So this next item was um, from an auction lot of estate books. I think it might have been that same lot. I'm not sure. So the breakdown for these four books were 68 cents. It was a lot of four Bill Baldwin paperback books. Listed them in February. Took two months to sell. They sold on April 5th for $19.95 plus shipping. This next item was another Starbucks tumbler. And I don't want to rehash what I just said lost $7 on this item. It was also purchased under the 30% off promotion on April 5th. So this next item, um, this was from also from an auction lot of books. You notice a pattern, there's like puzzles and book selling. Well, this was during the time that everybody was start, starting to be stuck at home. So they were reading and doing puzzles and playing. <laughs> So um, this was from an auction lot of books. The breakdown for these nine books was about a dollar fifty three investment for the nine books. Uh, they they were listed in February. They sold on April six for seven dollars and ninety five cents plus shipping. This next item I've sold this before. My husband had some Ford service specialist patches that were never used that are just sitting around because he used to work at Ford years ago. And um, so this was a free item. And this item sold for $6.95 free shipping. So not a killer on this item. I don't put stamps on my items because I want tracking on them. I could have sent this in an envelope, but I choose to do a $3 label. So I made a dollar, I think, on this patch or something like that. So this next item is a per se light blue cropped denim jacket in a size medium. This was purchased at my local thrift store for a quarter. Super cute jacket. 
I did not notice in the store that it was missing not one, but two buttons. And I didn't even realize it until I took a picture. I knew that there was one button missing and then I had a customer email me asking me if there was a button missing on the pocket. Yes, there was one on the front missing and then the pocket button was missing. So I revamped my listing and I, um, I reduced the price of this jacket. But I only paid a quarter for it. I listed it in December. It took four months to sell. It sold in April and the customer paid $12.95 plus shipping. And just to make sure and verify that the customer knew that it was missing buttons, I contacted the customer after they purchased the item just to make sure they knew. And yes, they did. They had plans to move buttons from the back to the front. Very smart. So this next item is a vintage deft blue and white salt and pepper shakers. Um, they were pigs, they were missing their trow. It was actually, um, after doing some research on this item, it was supposed to be a three piece set and it was missing the trow. So um, I bought these in an auction lot of estate items. I believe they were in like a salt and pepper shaker lot. And so the investment I had in the pair was about $1.98. And I sold these on April 11th for $9.95 and they, they were under the free shipping. I think they took a couple of months to sell. So this next item is a Buzz Lightyear Toy Story birthday party invitations. Also purchased at my thrift store with the other invitations that I went over earlier. I paid $0.25 cents per package on these Toy Story invitations. Brand new sealed in the package. Um, listed them as 16 count invitations. They were two eight count packages. Listed them in November. They sold April 13th for $12.95 and I do have free shipping on my invitations. This next item was a empty cigar box. I bought in an auction lot of other cigar boxes. So the breakdown that I spent on the cigar box was about $5.00. This cigar box sold on April 14th for $19.95 plus shipping. And this cigar box was actually kind of heavy, even though it was empty. And I tried to send it the cheapest way possible. Um, the customer did pay $24 shipping on this cigar box. So it was about $40 cigar box. So this next item is another book. It was a paperback book called In Love and War. It was listed in February. It was also purchased with the auction lot of books that I bought. So the investment in this book was about 17 cents and I sold it April 14th for $2.95 plus shipping. So this next item is a Meadow Mountain Design Charles Hill Pewter Glass Paperweight with a Texas star in it. It was listed in March. It took a month to sell. It sold April 16th for $59.95 plus shipping. I purchased this in an auction lot of estate items and the item breakdown for this was about $3. So my profit on this one item was $50. I would say this is one of the best items that I've had profit wise recently. So this next item was a vintage amberine orange and yellow glass tomahawk. It was listed in March and it took a month to sell. It sold on April 17th for $29.95 plus shipping. My investment was about three bucks in an auction lot of estate items. This next item is another Starbucks tumbler. This one was not on sale. I sold it for $24.95 plus shipping. Um, again, not a good buy, just trying to get rid of it. I probably lost a dollar or two after shipping and fees were all said and done. This next item was a new sealed Doc Hollywood DVD. Thrift store fine for 75 cents. Listed it in December, took five months to sell, sold April 21st for $11.95 plus shipping. This next item is an American Eagle blue and white plaid button down shirt. It was a size small, I believe. It was listed in February of last year. Took 14 months to sell. Bought it a year ago at Plato's Closet on their clearance rack for a dollar. 
I sold it for $6.95 plus shipping. Bad buy. Still made money, but a lot of work for such little effort. So this next item was also something that I'm struggling with right now. These are Nike Alpha Menace men's football cleats. They were size 13. I bought them last year, January of last year is when I listed them. They took 17 months to sell. The customer bought them through my 30% off eBay store sell. I bought them new at TJ Maxx for $6. The customer paid $18.17 plus shipping. I made $11 on this item. I was worried I would lose money. I bought a ton of cleats last year in January. I was not smart. I bought sizes that don't even make sense, that are really huge sizes that I'm probably going to be sitting on for a while. And I may just have to take 50% off or more just to get rid of them and try to get a portion of my money back. So this was part of that amount of cleats that I bought and I'm now sitting on them for over a year now. So this next item um, was were the last two vintage Pennsylvania Rubber Company uranium glass tire ashtrays. That is a mouthful. I had two left after the initial one sold. I listed in March. These last two went to the same customer and were sold on April 30th, and the customer paid a total of $79.90 plus shipping. So these were, again, estate auction, auction lot fines. These were, one of them cost me, breakdown was about $6.82 in one lot, and the other one was only $3.03 .03 from the other lot. So my total investment for the two ashtrays was $9.85. My profit, on these two ashtrays after fees and shipping was $67 on these two ashtrays. This next item was a vintage Today's News knit sweater, size large. I listed this in December. I went to an estate sale um, at a house back in December and I bought two of these. One was a medium and one was a large. The medium already sold a few months ago. Um, this large took about five months to sell. I bought this sweater for 50 cents. The customer paid $27.95 and I did have free shipping on this sweater. This next item right here is the Spy Next Door, new DVD, also purchased at my thrift store with the other DVDs, sealed, new in the package, for 75 cents. Listed in, in December, it took five months to sell. It sold May 4th for $4.45 plus shipping. So this next item is a vintage 1997 Power Rangers. It was the Red Turbo Ranger. This one was listed in March and took two months to sell. Sold on May 6th for $38.95 plus shipping. This was bought in an auction lot of toys. The whole lot was about five or six bucks. And the Hot Wheels red line car came from that same lot of items. So between the Power Ranger and this one Hot Wheels car, I probably made 50 bucks, almost $50, just from these two items from this lot that I paid 5 or $6 for. So it was a really cool find on these two items. So this next item was a new, um, new old stock. Vintage Nintendo Game Boy, Game Boy Color travel case with Pikachu Pokemon on it. It was kind of a cool find. I found it at my local thrift store. I only paid a dollar for it. I listed it in February and it took about three months to sell, but I sold it on May 7th for $29.95 plus shipping out of a dollar investment. You can't beat that. So finally, this last item I sold yesterday, May 7th. It was purchased at my local thrift store's 25 cent sale, so I bought it for a quarter. I listed it in December. It took five months to sell. It sold yesterday, May 7th, for $19.95, and I did have free shipping on it. 
so I got through that list. I didn't think it was going to be long, but then when I started talking, boy, was that list kind of long. Maybe I should have divided it into two videos. Anyway, I wanted to get all caught up with everything that I've sold in the last couple months so I can start working on some other things going forward. As always, I appreciate all of you guys. If you have not done so already, please hit that thumbs up button and help out my video and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications when I put out my next video. And I will see you next time.